when having to draw angles in isometric, like we can see in this drawing over here, these two 60 degree lines that have to be drawn, the best way to handle these is to go and redraw that part as an auxiliary view and then go and draw a rectangle around it to be able to use the measurements from that rectangle to transfer it into isometric. So, over here what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to go and do that. And of course we're going to start by redrawing this piece over here, the height of this little piece over there. We can see the total height of this drawing is meant to be 120. Okay, but it tells us here that that's a height of 30. Okay, up to here a height of 40. And that we've then got another height of 40 over here. So the distance from the base to the top there is a height of 80 to get to that point. So we're going to draw that in here to a height of 80. And then, once you've got that line at a height of 80, we're then going to draw a line up at a 60 degree angle, as it has there. We don't know how long that's got to be yet, but we'll get to that. And then just draw up that line at a 60 degree angle. Now, we know that the total height of this is meant to be 120 millimeters according to that measurement there. So we know at what height that 60 degree angle is meant to stop. Okay, we could know that it's for 80 millimeters from here to there, and then we're going to have to go another 40 millimeters to that height here. So we're going to take that measurement, we're going to mark off 120 millimeters at the top there, and then we're going to draw a line straight across at that height so that it intersects with our 60 degree line there. Okay, that point then of course is our top point over here. Okay, so now we know exactly how long that line was supposed to be for drawing out this auxiliary view. Our next step is to go and find this piece over here and it's clear over here that the height of this line is identical to that one so it's another line 80 millimeters up. I'm not going to draw that in right now, so I'm just going to take that height across. And then the distance from here to here, okay, is indicated here in the top view, where it indicates that you've got a measurement from 20 millimeters to that hidden detail line, which is that line there. So we're going to measure 20 millimeters across over here on this line. Mark that off. And now we know exactly where, if we draw in a line here, where that second 60 degree line is meant to start. And in the same way, we can go and draw out a line at a 60 degree angle. And then all we need is to find out what this height is. And here it clearly shows us it's 20 millimeters down. So from that line here, we're going to go 20 millimeters down. And we're going to mark off the height 20 millimeters below that one and then go and draw our horizontal line across and that then of course again goes and shows us where that line was supposed to go and end. So if we go and draw that in dark now we'll be able to clearly see the part that was originally on that drawing with the one angle here at 60 degrees and then this angle over here at 60 degrees okay but that's now all good and well we now need to be able to take that and be able to put it into isometric so to do that as I say we're going to go and draw a rectangle around that shape so we're going to draw a line over there, we're going to draw another line up and over there, and then we'll draw in a line here, and of course one at the top. Now, that shape that I've now drawn in there is very easy to be able to draw in isometric, because it's just a simple rectangle. So if we go over here and we start this off now, I'm just going to move the question out the way, and we go and draw just that piece. I'm not going to worry too much about the height of it, 
to show you the explanation. It does tell us in this question over here that the thickness of that is meant to be 12, so we will stick to that. So over here, I'm just going to make sure that I've got a depth of 12 millimeters. So I'm going to draw that in as the base of this to start off with. Give that a depth of 12. And remember, I'm not really worrying about the actual height. I'm just going to do a random height. Because, of course, the most important part of this are those two 60 degree lines that we want to add in. Okay, so this part, of course, would have been easy to be able to draw in the isometric. And the part that we normally get stuck at is now to go and add in that those two angled lines going up from this. Okay, so that first one over there, what we need now is we need that height and that distance across to be able to go and re redraw it here in the isometric. And that height, of course, is going to go onto this line here. So we'll measure that, and according to this, that height over there is 40 millimeters. So we go and we measure up on this line, 40 millimeters, and make a mark. And then, since we're dealing with isometric, we're then going to do our 30 degree line out to the side. And now we need a measurement here on our auxiliary view from that corner to that corner there, to be able to go and mark that off. So we go and measure that, that's 23 millimeters, and I can measure it here on this line, that's 23 millimeters, and now I know that my angled line will have to go to that point. Okay, there we go. Then to be able to draw in that other piece, it's quite straightforward, we'd simply go and project another 30 degree line that way Let's go and measure out our 12 millimeters of course for that thickness to be able to get its end point and then simply go and draw our angled line in there which will then be parallel to the first one we drew there would have to be a dark line in over there and another one here now for this second little piece over here same kind of process we're simply going to go and draw a line in over there and we're going to measure our 20 millimeters we know that's 20 millimeters from the start of the drawing we're going to go and measure our 20 millimeters in mark that off and then we need to know okay what the distance is from that corner over there to there okay because that will be able to get us this line coming down which is where our point's going to stop so we want this line of our rectangle. Okay, we've already got this line of our rectangle up to there, and we've got this line. So let's complete our rectangle. Okay, so we're going to just go and measure. See what will the full size of the rectangle be? That was meant to be 32 millimeters. So from that corner to there, I'm going to measure my 32 millimeters out and draw a construction line going down. Now the rectangle that I had here, I now have over here. So all I have to do now is go and take the other measurements that I need off my rectangle. Okay, to get to that first point, that's 20 millimeters up from there to that first point. And now I can easily go and measure that out on my rectangle over here. Nice and clear and easy to be able to mark off that 20 millimeter part. And then I can measure over here, okay, that's 12 millimeters away, which should be 12 there, because we marked that point earlier. Let's bring that one there. And then we can simply go and join up those two points, like that. And of course, if we want it to, we can go and draw in our thickness as well, just to give you a good picture of what that would look like. Okay. So it's quite, quite easy to be able to go and get that sort of angle transferred into an isometric drawing. Okay, just start off with that square 
Okay, go and redraw the part that you're trying to get in isometric. Remember that you can't use a set square for any angles in isometric. So with these two 60 degree angled lines, that's rectangle drawn around it. And then we simply transfer that rectangle here into our isometric. Make it again just a little bit clearer. Okay, the rectangle that we transferred sits right there. And draw that in. There's the exact same rectangle that we had here, now here in our isometric.